it's now time for us to open the middle and attach the crown to the brim take in your razor blade now create a very tiny hole in the middle now you're creating this hole so that your scissors can enter and start making little cuts across from each other please watch closely i'll be using a scissors to cut the middle of that turn up brim just watch closely so take your scissors and cut all the way till you get to that edge you remember the part where you started putting the pin from that's where i'll stop all right so you see that edge that's where i'm going to stop so taking my scissors again i'll be making another cut all the way to that edge now that little cut we're making will help the brim of our heart sit very well so watch closely to see what i'm doing okay so i'm just making the cuts triangular you can make them smaller because the way i'm cutting i'm still going to make some cuts again so once you've done that you have to start pushing it up towards that edge of the turn up brim so push up very well i'm not pushing mine up very well so that shows that i need to cut because it's not close to the edge okay so i'm going to be cutting off the top of the joiners i call them joiners because you're going to use it to join the crown and the brim together don't forget that i said i'll be making extra cuts so just take a look so you see how i put that that's how we're going to join this crown and the brim together okay so um i have reduced the length i think i'm fine with the length now now that that is done the next step is to put the crown and the brim together all right so you see the way i place the crown on the brim that's how we'll be fixing it and to do this we need our needle and thread and we also need glue i'll be using b6000 glue in this case you can also use uhu glue if you want okay so now watch to see how i'm going to apply my b6000 glue i'll be applying it on each piece of the joiner and please don't pack on glue too much i just need this so that to hold the top part especially so you see how i'm applying it sparingly and so now my b6000 glue is dried not too dried but a little bit dry and it's good enough for me to attach so you see what i'm doing i'm placing the crown on top of the joiners so once you put the crown you ensure that all the joiners are inside the crown okay can you see i'm turning it round now so you can see once you're sure that the joiners are inside the crown please flip the heart over and then start using your fingers to attach the the crown and the brim together if you have left your um, b6000 glue to get dry a little bit it's not going to give you issues um, joining it together but if it's still wet that means you need to wait a little bit so mine is fine i'm just going to use my fingers press them and just go round all the way round to so see the inside is looking almost done so we're getting there slowly please don't forget that if you have any questions i am available to answer all your questions once you're done joining the brim and the crown together it's now time for us to stitch stitching in hat making is very very important so watch what i'm going to do here i'm going to be making running stitches but the way i'll do it is as i stitch i'm going to ensure that i tack too so please watch closely can you see my needle can you see where it came out from the inner part so i need to first of all secure my um thread so watch closely please don't forget that the way you, you fix your thread you have you need to have 12 um four um threads on the needle so that your tacking is strong four threads on the needle okay so i'm going to put the needle in between the thread and then hold and then pull sorry okay i hope you found the class um interesting um and i'm looking forward to your designs don't forget that you can use this method for any hats not just turn up hats okay so i have secured my thread it's now time for me to continue sewing a hat that you stitch lasts for a lifetime as long as your client keeps it properly okay so i encourage you to please stitch when it comes to headwear making stitches ensure that your headpieces last a lifetime all right so i'm still stitching my hats 
okay so watch closely take the needle in bring it back out and then you continue stitching until you stitch all the way round now i'm done sewing the crown to the brim so i'm just going to knot it right there you saw what i did right so i'm cutting off the excess thread and i'll ensure that i tie about two or three times so that it strengthens my my knot very very well um, that is me using my b6000 glue just on that knot that i cut off now okay so once i'm done with that the next step is to design but before then okay can you see the inner part of my heart looking so beautiful you see my stitching i'll be covering my stitching using peter sham my pin here my tape roll and since my tape roll is here i'm going to be pinning it down so i'm going to put a pin this is a, a pin I'm going to pin it on the tape roll and then pin it on the band area so that it holds my tape roll down. I'm going to take my tape roll round okay I've got into I've gotten to the beginning where I started from and I'm going to overlap with about an inch or one and a half inch just for so I have 25 and a half inches okay so so I'm going to put the heart aside now so taking it now I'm opening this and I'm going to fold it like a scarf just watch closely so folding on the bias is folding like a scarf okay so once I've done that you see that so once I've folded like a scarf I'm going to cut off this the one I need out now so taking my scissors I'm going to make my cut don't forget I folded like a scarf so I'm cutting Alright, so I have cut out one half of the one triangle of the half yard of Sinami and from this triangle I will get the band of my heart. So for me to get the band of my heart, I'll be measuring about uh, two inches on fold. So please watch. All right, so I'm going to fold my cinnamon and then ensure it is smooth before I measure two and a half inches and then cut on fold. Unfold means I'm going to cut it while it's folded like that. So when I open it, it will be about five inches or four inches. So every corner must be two and a half inches if I'm using two and a half inches. So I'm going to cut out that band and don't forget you are cutting on the buyer. So you see that is our band for our hat and i just cut off the excess and then um the rest i'll be using for other things okay so the first thing i want to show you how to make is a cone or a funnel or a lily cinnamon cone funnel or lily whichever one you want to call it but that's what it looks like so i'm going to show you how how i made this now you need to ensure that you have a perfect square so your square might be five inches um, on all four corners six inches on all four corners seven inches on all four corners depends on how big you want your cone to be for my cone i'll be using six inches on all four corners to cut out the perfect square all right let's get started all right, so I'm measuring six inches on all four corners. You can make yours bigger if you want, but this is the um, size I want for mine. And you can also make it smaller if you want. So that's my perfect square, six inches on all four corners. Now the first method, the first way to make this cone is that I'm going to fold that like and, de and then get um, a triangle 
okay and also that means you're folding on the bias when you're done doing that to ensure that all all the edges are smooth and when you're done getting that half triangle i'll open it again and then fold one side in just a little probably about 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 inches on your table you just fold a little side in one corner and another corner again watch closely okay so i'm folding the second side in now so once you've done that you're going to fold to get the triangle again watch closely please so you're, you've done the folding like an l you fold again to get the triangle now that you've done that the next thing is for you to use your hands to form the shape so i'm going to pull a little and then use my fingers to form the shape with the cinnamon now the shape will form because our cinnamon is on the bias so when you do that you're going to take the part that's not folded and push it in the part that is folded for you to get the perfect cone you can actually sew this part stitch it or use gum on it that's the part that is going in there you see that so you put the gum in between that folded part and then tuck it in and then you have your lily or your funnel some people call it funnel some people call it cone but this is actually called a cinnamon lily okay so um push it in tuck it in use a needle and thread to sew it or gum and that is your lily so this is the first way okay so i'll be using this to design the hat i've already made some different sizes some are bigger so it's time for us to make our hat band because if you remember in the previous um step we joined the brim and the crown together and then we sewed like we stitched it so the the thread will definitely show so this hat band is going to cover the stitching the thread and everything so that's all i'm doing so fold in fold the other side and then you use it to cover the band so that band is going to cover all of your um stitching if you glued it it's going to cover all the glue and and everything so when you're done then you can now start designing your hat so for this step i'm just smoothening the the fold you can iron it if you want you know to make it really flat so once you have folded and you've gotten the the size of the fold you want it's now time for you to put it around the joining the place you joined together so i'm just going to take it this way watch closely and then wrap it round the crown of the hat to see watch closely to see what i'm doing okay so and you know because we cut this on the bias it's going to go smoothly and stretch perfectly well so when you've gotten you've taken it round you need to join it in the part that's going to that part is going to be the front of your hat and it must be firm let it not be loose because we're going to be stitching that together so hold together that point i'm showing you now you're going to stitch it together using your needle and thread and please don't forget that when you're you're threading your needle you're going to thread it uh two two so you're having four thread on the needle all right so it's time for us to stitch that part together please do not forget it has to be firm and not loose so you're going to be stitching you know that long line up down up down up down like that okay so watch closely please okay so um now that you're stitching one thing to note is this don't pack all the thread on your um that hat band no you don't want to sew in a way that's going to be so bulky you want to sew in a way that is firm and uh, let me say tight because there's you don't want a situation where the hat band can be pulled out of the hat so just sew and let it be really really firm you know because we'll be cutting off the excess but please don't throw it away cinnamon shouldn't be wasted it can be very very useful all right so keep watching please when you're done stitching the band of the hat don't forget to tie and then cut off the excess all right see you in the next step 
all right so the next step is for us to make this uh, i call it a semi loop yeah so i didn't have so much cinnamon left um what i'm going to do is just try and manage my cinnamon but if you're going to be making a hat like this you have to cut on the bias to get this semi loop i call it a semi loop okay so i'm going to be making mine like nine inches wide long and five inches wide so when i get that length i'm going to cut it out and then um, fold the sides and then start decorating the hat okay so cut it off now once you're done cutting just ensure that it's not looking um funny once you're done cutting, you've gotten the length and the width, how high, how long and how wide you want it. So I'm going to cut off the excess, then fold the sides, you know, fold it. You can double fold if you want. Fold, iron. Once you iron, one thing about cinnamon is this. If you use a steam iron to iron cinnamon, it seals the cinnamon up and then you can fold it just like I have done in the video okay so it's time to decorate the hat so um decorating the hat is actually your preference however you want to but with this particular turn up hat this is the way that the decoration is or the designing process is going so if you watch you can see that she's putting those semi loops that's what i call them semi loops she's joining the three of them together and stitching them together because she'll be stitching it on the hat Okay, so if you remember, I stated that designing your hat or your fascinator is basically up to you. Like, that's your duty to do it however you want. But this is how we are doing this. Now, she's going to put the already stitched semi loop and attach it to that part. You know, we cut off the excess tsunami from that part. So she's attaching it to the hat. Now, the stitching we're going to do, we're not stitching so much because you don't want a situation where you're going to have your thread showing all over the place. So try and center your stitching. Once you do that, after doing the stitching, the next step is to start adding the lilies or the funnel or the cone. When you're done stitching the semi loop in place, just tie and cut off the thread. Now it's time for you to start fixing your uh, funnel or your cone or your cinnamon lilies in place. Okay, so now we'll be gluing our cones and attaching them on the hat. So please put a generous helping of your UHU glue on the bottom part of your cinnamon cones you're going to apply the uhu and then leave it a little bit to get tacky the reason is because you don't want to apply wet glue on your hat because it's not going to stick it's just be falling off and then it will now mess up your work so if you look closely you see that she's just applying the glue on the bottom part of the cones and then she's going to leave it to get dried and then start attaching it once it is tacky and almost dried now that you're done applying the glue the glue is dry and tacky now you will just start placing them in places that you like you're going to place some in the middle just like she has done some by the side some on top the idea is to place the cones in a way that they are facing out you know like looking out so that by the time you want to put feathers in them it really looks beautiful so just watch closely to see how she's placing them don't forget that the reason why they are sitting very well is because they have glue on them already so once you are placing in there you're just pressing it in so that it sits very very well so as you can see she's putting one by the side now you're just going to keep putting it in different spots spots that you are comfortable with a place that you like and then you can adjust the the semi loops as you go you just press them so they fold and open very very well and please when you're putting the cones ensure that you put your fingers in and then place them very well so that the glue sticks to the cinnamon just like she's doing place it inside put it to um how you want it to be how you want it to face then place it and press that glued part so it sticks in very very well so that's all for this um, particular hat you can use just cones if you want to or you can use only loops if you want to and then add a little bit of feathers to it 
but this is how we want to design this particular one and then don't forget please use your fingers to press that glued part so you have to put your fingers inside the cone so you can press the glued part very very well so this one now she's going to put in the middle because you also need to ensure that the middle part of your cone is closed now if it's giving you issues to put the, the cone in the middle just cut off the bottom a little so that it reduces the size of the cone after you are done putting the cone round everywhere you need to wait a little for it to get dried at least give it about 30 minutes so that the glue can seal itself properly with the cinnamon and when you're done the next thing for you to do is to start checking okay what parts do i need to fix just like she's doing now she needs to add uhu glue to that part and then ensure she just pushes it like she'll push the cone so it sits well once you are done and you see that it's glued properly just wait for 30 minutes before you start embellishing with feathers after putting the glue applying the glue on the feather you clipped off from the bunch just watch you see how she pushed the cone aside and just fix it in so that's what you're going to be doing you do that fix it in different places um push the the loop aside fix it in under by the side inside you know just fix it in different places random places and that's what's going to bring out the beauty of this hat okay keep watching all right so sometimes you can take two pieces of the feather three at once four at once put your uhu and attach it to the hat once you're done leave it to get dry for at least 30 minutes this is going to be the outcome can you see it now see you in the next step okay so this is a better view of our beautiful turn up brim hat gorgeous isn't it see how lovely those feathers are all right so now we'll be using our uhu glue and our peter sham ribbon to seal the edge of the hat all right so you're going to lay out your peter sham just like i've done we just need little by little and you can also decide to stitch this on your um your heart too if you want so can you see the points where i'm fixing the the glue you just put it like just spread it on those places but please don't spread too much and don't forget i said uhu is stronger when it is tacky and when it's tacky what that means is just leave it to get dried a little bit because that is when it's more powerful so i've done just a little part of my peter sham first and i'll wait for it to get dried then attach that that one first before i continue sealing the hat round okay so once the peter sham um is the glue on the peter sham is dried you know that's the front part of the hat so i'll be starting from the back which is the opposite direction of this hat so i'm going to turn it over now so you see so take it turn over till you get to the back which is this spot all right now so taking my already dried almost dried not completely dried please don't get me wrong you just have to ensure that the the glue is not dripping wet on the peter sham so please watch closely i'll just fold it over just like when you um use cinnamon bias on a fascinator just fold it ensure that you get like you know let it the middle part the middle part of the peter sham and then fold down now if your peter sham still has wet uhu glue on it it will seep out of the peter sham but if it's tacky and almost dry it wouldn't sit seep out and it will make it very very firm like it's going to be easy for you to just you know rub the peter sham and ensure that it's it's glued to the brim of the hat so that's all i'm going to be doing from beginning till the end all right so we are moving forward just keep pressing make sure you fix in the middle and press both sides the outer part and the inner part of the brim once your glue is tacky it's going to sit perfectly where you and now i've gotten to almost the end of my heart okay so now i'm going to okay see i'll fix to the end but i need to get like an extra either one inch or two inch because i'm going to be folding the tip of the peter sham in because we don't want the threads to start fraying okay so once you have sealed across the peter sham a little then you're going to cut off just cut off take like one inch or two inches 
then you cut off two inches because I'll be folding the tip in. So I'm going to cut off now. Okay, so you see, that's the extra. So that part I'll be folding in. And for me to fold in, of course, I'll use my UHU glue. Okay, so I'll take my UHU and apply just a little bit. Don't forget, leave it to get tacky. Once it's tacky, fold it in, then apply UHU and then seal up the brim of your hat. That simple. Okay, so it's dried and tacky now, so just fold over and then seal up and voila, the brim of your hat is sealed and sealed for good. Okay, see how easy peasy that is. So once you're done doing this part, the next part that we're going to do is the inner band. Okay, now I need you to see this part. So that's the inner band we will be closing. So I'm going to tie this and cut off. Okay, so I just tied the thread and I've cut it, cut off the excess. Now you're going to apply UHU to the inner band. Please ensure that you're going to cover every part, those short, short chips we cut to join the crown and the brim together. So apply the UHU glue round and ensure it touches each of those points. Now when you're done doing that, take your pita sham because you have to leave the hat to get a little bit dried or tacky like i always say then you start applying your pita sham and you're taking it round so please watch closely so taking your pita sham place it in and because you have pressed you have put the uhu and it's tacky and dry it will just sit in properly so you see what i'm doing just keep doing this till you get to the end so if you look at it and you, you see that okay some parts where i stitch my crown and my brim together the 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 short stuff we put together is showing then you can double the band so that means you can make it two step in a band so it covers it completely but if it's not showing and the first band covers it then you're fine and that's all i'll be doing till i get to the end of the beautiful hat we have in front of us all right so that's the end of the pita sham for the inner band so just do the same thing i did for the um, the brim fold it in and then seal it up that's all and your heart is ready to be rocked for church as a mother of the bride as someone who's going for a wedding party for um so many occasions so many occasions i think when it comes to hat wearing it depends on the person's style you know and what and how she puts it together i need to look and check if i have excess like some parts where um they're not covered if i have those parts all i'll do is just apply uhu to it and then seal it up and voila our hat is ready all right so once you put the uhu glue in some parts that are open you just wait a little like i always say and look at what our heart looks like thank you again for staying from the beginning till the end of this heart making class